Hello boys, this is Coach Andy Tritely and we're going to learn how to clear the ball in box lacrosse. So first let's talk about where we are on the field. So in, uh, I'll use blue. Uh, this side of the field are the substitution boxes. And so this side uh, we're just going to call away from the bench. And that's important in clearing. And notice that down here on defense we're in our good uh, tight house shape. So there's our, uh, our roof and our walls. Uh, and so we want to stay in that shape and we stay in tight. But more on defense in other videos. What we want to do when we're clearing the ball, let's say that the uh, team's in red, or the opponent's in red, we are the green team. And they're passing the ball around. They can't uh, get a quality shots. We're playing great defense. All of a sudden they take a shot. We scoop up the ground ball and a rebound, and now we're clearing. So the first rule in clearing is that we want to make sure that players uh, stay, one player stays level with the ball. So let's say player five runs back into the corner to be safe. We want to make sure player four stays level with play player five side to side on the field. So what I mean by that is uh, I'll draw a line, player four and five, see how they're level. If player five moves up um, in this area, then we would want player four to also be level with player five or even a little bit behind. So that line would look like this. So every time we're clearing the ball, we want to have one player level with the ball on a line side to side with the ball as the ball is moving up. So we always have an outlet pass. So that's the first rule. The uh, second rule is um, I'm actually going to make uh, the defense go away because we don't really need them anymore. So, uh, so these defensive players, let's say that uh, that they all drop back uh, to uh, to ride and aren't aggressively forechecking the ball. If they do aggressively forecheck the ball, then uh, we just have to make sure we make smart passes. Uh, keep moving, get yourself open for your teammates, run full speed if you have the ball. We usually don't have any trouble clearing it. The second rule is that we want the two players closest to the bench to get a substitution. So in this case, players one and two are going to go straight to the bench as soon as we have possession of the ball and get off the field. Players six and seven are going to come on and they're going to run upfield. They're going to get into position on the bench side of the field, one at the wing, one at the corner. Okay, the second, or that's the second rule. The third rule is that the player furthest upfield, so that's in this direction, but farthest from the bench is player three. Player three is going to streak up the boards immediately on possession so that player five can get a look at a long pass to player three. A lot of times we can get fast breaks out of it. Now don't force that pass. If the defense, or who was formerly the, the offense, if the red square team, if they drop back very quickly to ride, then that long pass or a fast break will not be open. We don't want to force it. But player three is going to run all the way upfield, and if the fast break's not there, it's going to take a position here on the right wing. Uh, I'm going to move the goalie out of the way so that I can grab players four and five. Let's say players four and five then are going to clear the ball upfield together. Whether they're passing back and forth or not, they're going to stay in a line, they're going to clear upfield, and then they're going to get into our standard 3-2 offense. And pass the ball over. We want to get the ball over to one of the players who just came on the field. And at that point... Players three, four, and five are all going to come for a substitution. Now I grabbed the other team. They're probably going to get out, um, stay out for, uh, for defense, so I shouldn't have grabbed them. But players three, four, and five for our team are going to come to the bench, and we're going to get out players eight, nine, and ten. We're going to set up in our three-two offense, and we're going to run our play. Now remember, the shot clock is 30 seconds from the time we have possession. 
So if we take about 10 seconds to clear the ball upfield, uh, and then we take another five seconds to get our substitutions, we only have about 15 seconds remaining to run the offense, which is why we have a simple offense that can be run in about 10 seconds before we get a quality shot. So there's no reason we can't clear the ball safely, get a substitution, and still get at least one quality shot. And if we hit the goalie or the pipe, then it resets the shot clock, in which case on the second run of our offense, we can move a little bit slower. Thanks for watching, boys. Let's go out and clear the ball.